Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we shall look at how to model a simple water distribution system where an overhead tank will be used as a water source to supply water to the end users or consumers. But before we go on, let's have a cursory look at some of the features of the software that will be used. In this case, the EPANet or EPANet version 2.2. If we go over to the left, upper left corner, we will see the menu bars. Now, this is a collection of menu that can be used to control the program. So we have the file menu, we have the edit menu, the view up to the help menu. Directly below it, we have the toolbars where we also have the standard toolbars that could be used for the drawing operations. So while these could be used to open, edit, uh, save, print, delete information or even run analysis or present them in tables or graphs, this part of the toolbars could be used for the inputs of the objects or the hydraulic objects. In this case, we are going to, we, we will be handling an overhead tank, junctions as well as pipes. So we could access those features from these uh, buttons, two buttons here. So this could be used to produce a node or junction. This could be used to add a reservoir. This could be used to add a tank. So we're, for this tutorial, we shall be making use of the junction, the tank and the pipes. Now, at the right hand side of the drawing space we have the menu um, the map bars or map toolbars in the course of our work we will observe that any input such as tank or uh, uh, what do you call it now ju junctions or pipes as they are being added on the drawing space here the information will appear on these data tab so all the some of these options are there so as it's being added on the screen this will appear for instance i just added a junction and see it has appeared if i want to add a tank if i add this tank will appear so we also have the map toolbar this portion is very useful for illustrating our results after the operation or the simulation had been carried out. So without wasting much time, we are going to look at an example of how to draw a simple water supply system or reticulation uh, system. As an example for this tutorial, we are going to draw this simple reticulation system. So before we do that, we will need to we will need to set up our workspace as well as input some default features that will enhance the drawing to be made properly. So for now, we are going to start with the view button and we click and move down to the options and then we need to set up the map options because that will enhance our results. So we may need to increase the size of the nodes and then for links, we may leave it at two, for labels, we, we should leave it the way it is for notation because we may need to display some features on the drawing space. So I'm going to tick the first four and leave the fifth one blank. For my font size, decide to increase it to 10. For the symbols, 
these are also all included. For the flow arrows, I may try to use the field and probably use an arrow size of 7. For the background, should be left as, the, as it is. Then I click OK. Let's also click on the project defaults and move to this dialog box. We need to set up the ID labels. So for junctions, we are going to identify it as J. For reservoirs, R. For tanks, T. For pipes, P. For pumps, let's take it as P, U. For valves, take it as V. Then what else do we need? For the curves, take it as C. The ID increments will be left as it is. So that in the course of the uh, input of the objects, the more the input, the more the numbers will increase. And this will show from the labels, ID labels. We shall see this subsequently. So we also go down to the properties menu. For now, the we should leave the node elevation because some of these features are not the same. We are going to introduce those values in the course of the object uh, input. Then for tank, let's assume the tank diameter is 30. Let's assume the tank height is 15. The pipe length, the automatic uh, length is off. So let's leave the pipe diameter to be 12 and then pipe roughness 0 0.1. And then for the hydraulics, for the flow units, we shall be using liters per second, LPS. And the head loss formula in this case, we shall adopt Darcy Ways back. All other values would be left untouched. And we click OK. The next is to save the preferences. You can get that from our file menu. Press and as can be seen, these features have already been ticked. So we can still press OK. The next step is to draw the network. Remember, this is what we have. So we are going to draw something similar to this on the drawing uh, workspace. So first, we shall start with our tank. And then 